Tom Libby, an automotive analysis at IHS Market, noted that U.S. buyers consistently exhibit a robust demand for SUVs. As he said, by 2025, we see the light truck segment that includes SUVs, vans, and pickups to make up 78% of sales compared to 72% now. This market trend has prompted numerous automakers to enter the SUV segment. And among them, Tesla stands out with its highly successful Model Y. According to market research firm Jado Dynamics, the Model Y achieved remarkable sales figures of 1.23 million units in 2023. Leveraging this success, Tesla is now gearing up to introduce the Model Y Juniper upgrade. In today's presentation, we will explore Tesla's manufacturing plan for the Model Y Juniper and address the following inquiries. What are the potential specifications of this new Model Y and what features can we expect to see incorporated into it? To begin, let's delve into the production plan for the Model Y Juniper. Earlier this year, it became apparent that the Tesla Model Y Juniper is unlikely to be rolled out in 2024. Tesla has communicated this sentiment to their delivery advisors, who in turn share it with customers inquiring about the vehicle's refresh. However, this development isn't necessarily negative. With numerous ongoing car projects, Tesla can utilize this time to adequately prepare before ramping up production of the Model Y Juniper. So, where does the production of Juniper take place? The optimal location for the production of the Juniper Model Y is Giga Shanghai. Giga Nevada is currently occupied with expanding for the Tesla semi-mass scale production scheduled for late 2024, while Giga Texas is dedicated to Cybertruck, and Giga Fremont is managing multiple products simultaneously, including the Model S, X, 3, and Y making it less ideal for taking on another project. In contrast, Giga Shanghai is exclusively focusing on the Model 3 and Model Y, having produced the refreshed Model 3 known as the Highland. Given that Model Y is expected to undergo similar changes as the Model 3's refreshed, it makes sense to produce the new Model Y at this facility. Moreover, Giga Shanghai boasts as the most efficient Tesla factory, operating with 95% automation and completing a vehicle in just about 39.62 seconds, as pointed out in a short video that we shared on Tesla's manufacturing page. The number of Juniper Model Y units that'll roll off the production line in 2025 depends on the annual capacity of Giga Shanghai. In October of the previous year, Tesla officially increased the factory's estimated annual capacity to more than 950,000 units, up from its previous forecast of around 750,000. This adjustment aligns closely with actual figures. According to China Daily, in 2023, Tesla Giga Shanghai successfully delivered 947,000 vehicles, with nearly 70%, approximately 750,000 vehicles, being Model Y. If Tesla maintains this production rate and begins production earlier next year, achieving the production milestone of 750,000 Model Y Juniper vehicles is entirely possible. Following a pattern similar to the refreshed Model 3, it'll likely take up to four months from its launch in China for the Model Y Juniper to arrive in North America. What are the expected specifications and new features for the Model Y Juniper? Before delving into that, let's first review its appearance. To make things easy, X-user Lamian Design produced a set of renders that show his interpretation of a reworked Model Y, borrowing the new headlights and taillights, as well as the sleeker front bumper from the Highland Model 3. Notably, the central ventilation part in some concept models appears to be expanded even wider than the design of the Model 3 Highland. This design choice aims to significantly reduce air resistance while the vehicle is in motion, allowing airflow to pass through the ventilation unit more efficiently. Currently, the Tesla Model 3 Highland holds the title for the car with the lowest drag coefficient among the other Tesla models, at 0.219. It's highly probable that with the Model Y Juniper, the drag coefficient could be further reduced to less than 0.2, originally 0.23. This reduction could substantially contribute to increasing the Model Y's range. Now, let's discuss three key changes to the Tesla Model Y Juniper to further enhance its performance. Firstly, Tesla is rumored to be developing a new powertrain for its vehicles, featuring electric motors that utilize permanent magnets instead of current electromagnets. This advancement is expected to offer a higher efficiency with no power consumption required. Additionally, the new powertrain is said to incorporate a more efficient inverter, resulting in an efficiency increase of over 20% compared to the old drive. This promises an impressive driving range of over 400 miles on just a quick 15-minute charge. In contrast, the latest data from Tesla indicates that the performance, long-range all-wheel drive, and rear-wheel drive models 
Currently off ranges of 279, 310, and 260 miles respectively. Compared to the anticipated new range of 400 miles, these existing ranges seem insignificant. Secondly, there have been notable developments in battery technology. While Tesla initially aimed to incorporate 4680 batteries into its new car models, current production rates only allow for sufficient capacity in the Cybertruck line. Previously, the Model Y standard range all-wheel drive also utilized 4680 batteries, but production ceased after Tesla shut down the Cato battery facility in November of the previous year. Presently, almost all Model Y vehicles utilize 2170 batteries. However, these batteries pose limitations due to increased resistance caused by larger anode-cathode play sizes, resulting in more energy loss as heat and hindering rapid charging capabilities. Moreover, the use of cobalt and 2170 batteries presents ethical concerns, particularly regarding labor practices in cobalt mining, notably in the Republic of Congo. Consequently, Tesla's opted for LFP batteries, which are safer, more cost-effective, and easier to mine. Tesla is currently working on establishing a battery factory in Nevada, and with the assistance of CATL's technology, creating more efficient batteries is entirely feasible. As of now, Model Y batteries' capacity ranges from approximately 60 to 81 kilowatt hours. However, advancements in technology could push battery capacities up to 95 kilowatt hours. Thirdly, we have seen Tesla always uses the latest tire technology from leading manufacturers like Michelin. The Primacy SUV Plus tire emerges as a prime candidate for the new Model Y, offering exceptional performance on both wet and dry surfaces, alongside enhanced durability and fuel efficiency. Equipped with the innovative Evergrip technology, these tires provide superior road grip, particularly in wet conditions. Additionally, the Primacy SUV Plus tire sets a benchmark for a longitudinal traction among SUV segment tires. Its braking performance remains consistently safe across various terrains. Notably, these tires exhibit a braking distance that's 13.3% shorter than leading competing SUV tires on the market, when braking from 49.7 miles per hour to 12.4 miles per hour. Indeed, short braking distances mean that the Model Y can stop more quickly and reduce the risk of accidents. A little bonus, when Tesla replaced the Model 3 with a refreshed version, they eliminated the performance trims. However, shortly after, footage emerged of the Model 3 Highland performance, often referred to as ludicrous, being tested. Leaked features included a 2170 Panasonic battery pack, a Cattle 16 low-voltage battery, performance chassis, PUR, premium seats, and active suspension. This version is going to be built in Fremont, with a manufacturing date in early March. It's anticipated that the Model Y will follow a similar pattern. Its performance trim is expected to be discontinued once the refreshed version arrives to the U.S., with the U.S. likely being the first market to get it before China. This wraps up our comprehensive update on the Model Y Juniper. The Juniper project presents both challenges and opportunities for Tesla to revitalize its product lineup, which is gradually getting obsolete. With these significant changes on the horizon, would you consider trading in your old model to get the new Model Y Juniper for yourself? Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed our video, please show your support by smacking that like button and subscribing to our channel to get notifications on future episodes. With Ford amping up its compact EV crossover, promising quicker charging, expanded options, and enhanced range, the stage is set for an electrifying showdown against Tesla's anticipated Model Y Juniper. Meanwhile, Tesla has been quietly refining its next-generation Model Y Juniper with indications that its official launch might not happen until next year. This delay adds intrigue to the matchup. How will the Model Y Juniper stack up against the Mustang Mach-E in terms of power and performance? And crucially, what will the price tags of these upgraded models look like? Final question, Ford's updated Mach-E is already available for pre-ordering. Then should enthusiasts dive in now or hold out for the grand unveiling of Tesla's latest creation? These are the burning questions we'll get into today. 1. How will Tesla's Model Y Juniper outshine Ford's Mustang Mach-E with revolutionary battery tech? Ford's strategy emphasizes long-term sustainability in their electric vehicle lineup, particularly through a shift towards a more responsible and scalable battery chemistry. For their 2024 models, Ford is adopting LFP, lithium iron phosphate battery packs manufactured in China. 
These batteries are lauded for their environmental and geopolitical advantages as they do not contain cobalt, a resource less sustainable to mine and more politically volatile than what's found in lithium-ion and nickel-based batteries. LFP batteries also boast lower fire risk and potentially longer lifespans due to their ability to endure more charge cycles before degrading. The 2023 Mach-E lineup has definitely transitioned to using LFP batteries midway through its life cycle. But these new battery chemicals are now the standard and heavily marketed across the board. The Select variant is equipped with a standard 72 kilowatt hour battery pack, delivering a WLTP certified driving range of 470 kilometers, while the Premium and GT models feature extended range 90 kilowatt hour batteries. Meanwhile, Tesla has made significant strides in battery technology, and the new Model Y Juniper is poised to benefit from these developments. The vehicle will feature Tesla's new 4680 cells designed by Panasonic, aiming to provide higher energy density, longer range, and increased power output. According to Tesla Tech Central, citing a reliable source within Tesla, the forthcoming Model Y Juniper could introduce substantial technical improvements compared to its current model. The standout feature is the new battery architecture, enabling an impressive 400-mile driving range. Notably, there are discussions around potential charging input reaching 350 kilowatts, achievable with higher voltage exceeding 800 volts. Furthermore, enhancements to the suspension system will enhance the vehicle's handling of imperfect road conditions, alongside anticipated drivetrain upgrades. These rumors hint at exciting achievements for the Model Y Juniper. 2. Which electric SUV charges faster? Ford's latest Mustang Mach-E lineup boasts significant improvements in charging capabilities and overall performance enhancements. These advancements are largely attributed to Ford's internally developed next-generation electric powertrain, now featured across all 2024 Mach-E models. This new electric powertrain is lighter and delivers up to 100 foot-pounds more torque. Additionally, Ford's enhanced drivetrain control management system allows for better charging times. With these performance enhancements, Ford's bringing substantial improvements in fast charging times. Ford's currently touting a 36.2-minute charging time from 10 to 80% for the extended range battery versions of the 2024 Mustang Mach-E when using DC fast charging. This allows drivers to recharge quickly and get back on the road, 8.8 minutes faster than previous models for this range. And standard battery versions can charge from 10 to 80% in 32.3 minutes, a 5.7 improvement over the initial Mustang Mach-E launch. Moreover, Ford EV drivers now have access to over 15,000 Tesla supercharger stations through the Blue Oval Charging Network, the largest public charging network in North America. In comparison, the latest versions of the Tesla Model Y, both long range and performance, can charge up to 11 kilowatts at an AC charging station, meaning you can expect a 0 to 100% charge in about 8 hours and 15 minutes. The basic version of the Model Y with a 57.5 kilowatt hour battery will take just over 9 hours to fully recharge from a 7.4 kilowatt wall box at home, while the long range or performance versions will extend this time to nearly 12 hours. At public 50 kilowatt charging stations, charging from 20 to 80 percent took an hour, and at Supercharger V2 150 kilowatt stations, it took only 20 minutes. Given these charging improvements, do you think the upcoming Model Y Juniper could surpass Ford Mustang's Mach-E in charging speed and overall performance? 3. Which electric SUV delivers superior performance? Ford's emphasis on performance upgrades has resulted in a notable half-second reduction in the Mach-E's GT 0-60 mph acceleration time. The performance upgrade is an option for the Mach-E GT but is standard on the new Ford Mustang Mach-E Rally. However, in 2024, a new performance upgrade software update could make the GT model even faster than before. When installed on the Mach-E GT, it'll enable the vehicle to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 3.3 seconds, down from 3.8. Ford claims it's faster than the Tesla Model Y Performance and Porsche 4 Electric. A quarter-mile sprint happens in an incredibly 11.8 seconds, reaching speeds of 114 miles an hour. All this is made possible by the new rear electric motor. The performance upgrade combines advanced drivetrain control algorithms and thermal modeling along with a new internal e-motor. Donna Dixon, a chief engineer of the electric crossover, revealed that the new rear motor is lighter than its predecessor while delivering higher torque. When combined with a front motor, the Mach-E can generate a maximum torque of 700 foot-pounds, adding an additional 100 pound-foot compared to non-performance upgrade models. This unlockable feature is priced at $995 when priced separately or $795 when bundled with the new copper appearance package for $1,995.
Similar to other software-based upgrades, Ford notes that the upgrade can be purchased and seamlessly integrated later on. Ford states that all Mach-E models will see a range increase of 10 to 20 miles this year. The rear-wheel drive premium models now comfortably exceed the magical 300-mile range mark at 320 miles. The Mach-E's improved range will keep you comfortably away from range anxiety. On the other side, the Model Y Juniper lineup begins with a rear-wheel drive standard range model paired with rear-wheel drive. The long-range and performance models of the Model Y are more enticing thanks to dual motors offering higher combined power and all-wheel drive. Car and Driver was able to test a dual-motor long-range reaching 60 miles an hour in just 4.4 seconds, trailing our long-term Model 3 sedan by only 0.4 seconds. The performance model delivers even faster acceleration to 60 miles an hour in our testing at 3.6 seconds. Although the Model Y offers impressive acceleration, it doesn't deliver the same driving satisfaction as the Model 3. The SUV's higher center of gravity diminishes the Model 3's sharp handling and reduces the Y's driving feel. The standard range rear-wheel drive models with 19-inch wheels have an estimated driving range of up to 260 miles. The all-wheel drive long-range model has a range of 310 miles. The estimated range of the performance model drops to 285 miles, but the latter comes with 20-inch wheels, lowered suspension, higher top speed, 155 miles an hour, quicker acceleration, and a dedicated track mode. 4. Which electric SUV offers better value? Pricing straightforward in 2024 for the Mustang Mach-E lineup. The standard range Mach-E Select rear-wheel drive starts at $41,890 and tops out at $48,890 for the extended range all-wheel drive variant. The premium standard range Mach-E rear-wheel drive starts at $45,890 and stops at $51,890 for the extended range AWD model. The GT model is priced at $55,890, excluding options like the copper appearance package or performance upgrade. Lastly, the Rally Edition comes in at $61,890. All these prices have a destination fee of $1,895. Unfortunately, the Mach-E does not qualify for the IRA EV tax credit when purchased, but it may qualify through a lease agreement. The 2024 Mustang Mach-E lineup is now available for online ordering. As for the Model Y Juniper, no official pricing has been announced yet, but we can speculate based on the prices of previous Model Y versions. As of December 27, 2023, the retail prices for the Model Y were $43,990 for the standard. $48,990 for the long range, and $52,490 for the performance. Tesla adds an additional $1,390 for delivery and a 250 order fee on top of the vehicle price. A significant price adjustment is not anticipated with the update. By mid-2024, the base model of the Model Y could exceed $45,000. As we eagerly await the official launch of the Model Y Juniper and continue to witness the availability of Ford's Mustang Mach-E for pre-orders, share your thoughts. Are you leaning towards the powerful upgrades of Ford's Mach-E, or are you holding out for Tesla's latest creation? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates and insights on electric vehicles. With Tesla's ongoing upgrades to the Model Y series, the Juniper project emerges as a defining milestone. Autoyer's recent unveiling of three distinct Juniper variants renderings has ignited fervor among automotive enthusiasts, signaling a bold step forward in design evolution. Each variant boasts a unique front fascia inspired by Tesla's iconic models. The Model Y Juniper Standard Range draws from the sleek and minimalist design language of the Model 3. On the other hand, the Model Y Juniper Long Range exudes a rugged and robust aesthetic reminiscent of the Cybertruck. Meanwhile, the Model Y Juniper Pled Performance inherits the high-performance DNA of the Roadster. Now, the burning question lingers. How do these three Model Y Juniper variants compare? And which one comes closest to embodying the essence of the official Model Y Juniper? Join us as we delve deeper into the intricacies of each variant to uncover their distinguishing features and explore their captivating designs in today's video. 1. What will set the Model Y Juniper inspired by the Model 3, apart from the rest? With the Model Y Juniper project, Tesla aims to redefine the landscape of electric SUVs by incorporating elements from its renowned Model 3. The grille, typically characterized by its vertical minimalist design, is expected to replicate the Model 3's understated elegance. Crafted from materials such as ABS plastic or cast aluminum, the grille strikes a balance between functionality and aesthetics 
ensuring a cohesive and harmonious front fascia. Similarly, the LED headlights on the Model Y Juniper are anticipated to mirror the Model 3's sleek and modern design. Integrated seamlessly into the headlight assembly, these LED lights are renowned for their crisp illumination and advanced functionality, providing optimal visibility and safety for drivers in various conditions. When it comes to performance and range, the Model Y Juniper standard range is expected to inherit characteristics similar to the Model 3, with battery capacities ranging from approximately 50 kilowatt hours to over 80 kilowatt hours. The Model Y Juniper is poised to offer impressive range and efficiency, catering to the needs of discerning users seeking both practicality and performance. When it comes to range, the Model 3 currently offers a range of approximately 350 km to over 580 km on a single charge, depending on the model and driving conditions. Similarly, the Model Y Juniper is poised to offer a comparable or even greater range to meet the diverse needs of users, ensuring extended driving capabilities and convenience. In terms of performance, the Model 3 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 3.5 to 5.3 seconds, depending on the model. The Model Y Juniper is expected to offer similar or even enhanced performance, leveraging advancements in technology and market demands to deliver an exhilarating driving experience. Furthermore, the cargo capacity of the Model Y Juniper is anticipated to be similar to or larger than that of the Model 3, which ranges from 340 to 530 litres, providing ample storage space for users' belongings. Whether it's groceries, sports equipment or luggage for a weekend getaway, the Model Y Juniper offers the flexibility and convenience needed for everyday life. Equipped with powerful motors and refined steering and suspension systems, the Model Y Juniper is poised to deliver robust performance and reliability with motor power ranging from 283 to 450 horsepower in the Model 3, the Model Y Juniper is expected to offer similar or enhanced power outputs, ensuring a smooth and responsive driving experience across various terrains. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the intricacies of this remarkable vehicle and its counterparts inspired by the Cybertruck and Roadster Gen 2. But before that, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Adam Tech if you like our content. 2. What makes the Model Y Juniper? Inspired by Roadster Gen 2, a game changer. If the Model Y Juniper takes cues from the Roadster Gen 2's extraordinary features, it will promise a driving experience that pushes boundaries and redefines expectations. When it comes to performance, the Roadster Gen 2 sets a benchmark that few can match. With its astonishing speed capabilities, the Roadster can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2.0 seconds, making it one of the fastest production cars ever built. But speed isn't the only impressive aspect of the Roadster. Its remarkable range is equally noteworthy. Thanks to its advanced 200 kWh battery technology, the Roadster boasts an estimated range of over 1,000 km on a single charge, setting a new standard for electric vehicles. Adding to its allure is the SpaceX package, a feature unique to the Roadster. Elon Musk has revealed plans for this package, which includes 10 small rocket thrusters to enhance performance and achieve speeds never before seen in a production car. And imagine if Model Y Juniper has it. In terms of design, the Roadster Gen 2 exudes a sporty and aggressive aesthetic. From its iconic falcon wing doors, to its sleek and angular lines, Every aspect of the Roadster's design is geared towards performance and visual impact. The Falcon Wing doors not only contribute to the car's striking appearance, but also offer practical benefits, making ingress and egress swift and effortless. When it comes to technology, the Roadster Gen 2 is in a league of its own. Equipped with Tesla's most advanced self-driving technology, the Roadster offers a driving experience that is both exhilarating and safe. Its entertainment and connectivity features are equally impressive, providing users with a seamless and immersive driving experience. Designed for enthusiasts who crave speed, performance and cutting-edge technology, the Roadster Gen 2 is the ultimate expression of Tesla's vision for the future of electric vehicles. 
By incorporating features and specifications from the Roadster Gen 2, the Model Y Juniper can elevate the driving experience to new heights. With its powerful performance, sporty design and state-of-the-art technology, the Model Y Juniper promises to deliver a driving experience that is truly unparalleled. 3. How will the Model Y Juniper embody the Cybertruck's bold spirit? Brace yourselves for a revolutionary blend of style and substance as we delve into the prospects of the Model Y Juniper drawing inspiration from the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck stands out with its bold lines, angular contours and modern aesthetic, creating a unique and avant-garde appearance. Setting itself apart from conventional pickup trucks, it exudes uniqueness and commands attention wherever it roams. Constructed primarily from high-strength steel, the Cybertruck boasts a formidable and durable frame, ensuring longevity and resilience. Its design breaks away from traditional pickup truck molds, sporting a rugged silhouette and distinctive angularity, offering customizable battery options ranging from standard to premium versions. The Cybertruck's capacities potentially exceed 200 kilowatt hours. Dependent on battery capacity and model variant, it boasts an estimated range of approximately 250 to over 340 miles on a single charge. Endowed with a formidable four-wheel drive system and generous ground clearance, the Cybertruck conquers rough terrains with ease. Compared to the standard Model Y, its robust chassis and underbody protection afford it superior off-road prowess. The Cybertruck caters to aficionados seeking a rugged yet distinctive design, coupled with exceptional performance and off-road capabilities. With its cargo hauling prowess and long-distance capabilities, it appeals to users in need of a versatile and powerful utility vehicle. Embracing the Cybertruck's essence, the Model Y Juniper has the potential to emerge as a trailblazing SUV, boasting a distinctive, rugged and contemporary design coupled with formidable performance and off-road capabilities. The Model E Juniper promises a driving experience like no other, tailored for users who demand both performance and aesthetic appeal. In conclusion, the Model Y Juniper project offers a glimpse into the future of electric SUVs, drawing inspiration from Tesla's iconic models. Whether it's the sleek elegance of the Model 3, the rugged prowess of the Cybertruck, or the high-performance DNA of the Roadster Gen 2, each variant promises a unique driving experience. Share your thoughts on which variant resonates with you the most and what features you'd like to see in the final version. As enthusiasts eagerly anticipate the latest upgrades, the buzz around Project Juniper, the code name for the upcoming enhancements to the Model Y, has reached a fever pitch. Despite Tesla's statements indicating no immediate plans for a refreshed Model Y in North America this year, insiders suggest significant updates are still on the horizon. Among the most speculated features is the potential adoption of Tesla's avant-garde yoke steering wheel, a hallmark of its recent models. What are the odds that the Model Y, under the Juniper initiative, will embrace this futuristic control interface? What secrets lie within the latest glimpses of the Juniper spec Model Y? And what do these snapshots reveal about its design evolution? Join us as we peel back the layers of speculation to uncover the heart of the mystery. What additional features will the new Model Y unveil? Is the New York steering wheel the game changer for Tesla's model Y Juniper. The latest Tesla Model I's have been outfitted with the classic round steering wheel, maintaining the ease and familiarity that drivers appreciate. This traditional design ensures intuitive handling, comfort on extended journeys, and flexible hand positioning, all of which contribute to a superior driving experience. On the flip side, Tesla's introduction of a yoke steering wheel in updated versions of the Model S and Model X showcases a leap towards the future, with its distinctive U-shaped drawing inspiration from aviation and racing vehicles. This design promises an unobstructed view of the dashboard and a novel sense of control at high speeds. However, it's not without its challenges, such as a steeper learning curve and potential awkwardness in low-speed maneuvers. Physical Horn Tesla has recently rolled out a revamped version of its controversial yoke steering wheel, addressing some of the critiques with enhanced durability and a more intuitive design. 
Recent images circulating on social media platforms like X reveal significant improvements to the yoke steering wheel, including a physical horn button centrally located for ease of access. This new yoke design features a redesigned center area with the horn symbol placed beneath the iconic TESLA badge, and the stitching appears thicker and more resilient. Initially, Tesla's adoption of pressure-sensitive buttons on the steering wheel for critical functions like turn signals, and the horn was aimed at deepening the immersive driving experience. However, the absence of a traditional horn button and the lack of tactile mode selectors led to some customer dissatisfaction. The small touch sensitive button situated on the upper right side of the yoke was particularly prone to accidental activation, adding to the inconvenience. Acknowledging this feedback, Tesla made a pivotal adjustment by incorporating a physical horn button into the steering wheel's design. This change signifies a significant shift towards enhancing user convenience, addressing the impracticality of the former touch-sensitive controls. If you appreciate the insights we've shared, we'd be grateful if you could like this video and subscribe to Adam Tech. Your involvement aids in our expansion and moves us nearer to achieving our goal of 6,000 subscribers. Thank you, and let's continue. Developed Coding Alongside this user-centric modification, Tesla has also committed to elevating the quality of its yoke steering wheel. Owners, especially of the Model SE, have raised concerns about the durability of the wheel's coating, which showed signs of peeling after relatively short periods of use. Images circulated by concerned owners depicted the unappealing peeled surfaces on the yoke after just 24,000 miles of driving, with speculation that external factors like hand sanitizers or lotions could exacerbate the degradation of the coating. Opting for an environmentally friendly vegan leather alternative, Tesla addressed previous issues with this material, such as peeling on seat heads and cushions, reinforcing its commitment to quality and sustainability. Price. The yoke steering wheel, once a standard feature on Tesla's high-performance played versions of the Model S and Model X, has now become an optional accessory across the board, including for the plaid derivatives known as the Stripe. Initially introduced as a $250 option, Tesla has since adjusted its strategy, elevating the yoke to a premium edition with a $1,000 price tag over the manufacturer's suggested retail price, MSRP. This shift underscores Tesla's flexible approach to customization, allowing drivers to tailor their vehicles to their preferences while also reflecting the company's dynamic pricing strategy for its innovative features. As for the likelihood of these advancements appearing in the Model Y Juniper Edition, Tesla has yet to confirm any specifics. However, the company's track record of integrating feedback and enhancing user experience suggests that these new steering wheel features could very well make their way into the upcoming Model Y updates, offering drivers a blend of traditional comfort and futuristic innovation. Will the rendered vision of the Model Y Juniper redefine Tesla's design language? The anticipated Juniper upgrade for Tesla's Model Y has sparked considerable interest especially with the speculative renderings from Larson Design, an online simulation artist known as Lars Oseletzer on social media platforms. These renderings suggest that the Juniper version might adopt a design philosophy similar to the Highlands update seen in the Model 3, potentially indicating a unified aesthetic direction for Tesla's future models. In Larson's vision, the Model Y Juniper features several notable design changes. The headlights are envisioned to be slimmer and positioned lower than those on the current Model Y, providing a more aggressive and streamlined front-end appearance. This modification not only enhances the vehicle's aesthetic appeal, but could also improve aerodynamic efficiency, contributing to better energy consumption rates and range. The rendered headlights might produce luminosity in the higher range of 2,000 to 4,000 lumens per bulb, with a color temperature around 6,000 K ensuring daylight-like visibility for safer night driving. Interestingly, the renderings also propose the elimination of traditional fog lights, 
a move that could further simplify the vehicle's front design while relying on the advanced capabilities of the main headlights to compensate for visibility in adverse weather conditions. The rear of the Juniper model Y is imagined with C-shaped LED tail lights, a design choice that not only modernizes the look, but also enhances visibility with LEDs known for their luminosity range of 200 to 400 lumens and extended lifespan of up to 50,000 hours. Despite these significant changes, the overall shape and form factor of the model Y seem to remain consistent with the current model, maintaining its recognizable profile while introducing a fresh modern twist through these detailed design refinements. The speculative nature of these renderings leaves room for debate about how closely the actual Juniper model Y will align with Larson Design's vision, particularly in terms of the specific features and specifications of the lighting system. What are your thoughts on these potential updates and the speculative renderings of the model Y? Juniper, do you think these changes will elevate the model Y to new heights? Or is there something else you're hoping to see in this anticipated refresh? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if you're as intrigued by the future of Tesla's model, why as we are, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, Adam Tech. Staying connected ensures you won't miss out on the latest updates and discussions surrounding the most innovative advancements in the automotive world. Rivian's latest unveiling, the R2, is positioned as the key to Rivian's ascent from the brink of the so-called Valley of Death. With the stakes high and anticipation soaring, the comparison between Rivian R2 and Tesla's much-anticipated Model Y Juniper becomes inevitable. Both vehicles, although yet to hit the market officially, leaks and rumours surrounding their specifications have fueled anticipation, leaving fans eager to see how these titans of the electric vehicle realm will stack up against each other. Which one should consumers wait for? Stay tuned as we explore the riveting competition between Rivian R2 and Model Y Juniper. 1. How is Rivian R2 the superior? Electric crossover choice. Described as an affordable electric SUV aimed at the mainstream consumer market, Rivian R2 embodies the vision of CEO R.J. Scaringe, an engineer known for his steadfast approach in contrast to the flamboyance of Elon Musk. Performance and handling. Rivian R2 promises versatility with two battery size options, offering the prospect of over 300 miles of range on a single charge. Boasting an impressive acceleration from Marrero 0 to 60 miles per hour in just three seconds, Rivian is rewriting the playbook by implementing mega casting, larger battery cells, and a structural battery pack. Unlike Tesla, Rivian utilizes 4695 cells potentially sourced from Samsung, akin to BMW's sixth-generation batteries. Notably, the structural battery pack of Rivian R2 heralds a groundbreaking design, with the top of the battery serving as the vehicle's floor. Technology and autonomous features. Scarange underscores the technological prowess of Rivian R2, highlighting its array of 11 cameras and a suite of five radar sensors strategically positioned. These advanced sensors will support the vehicle's planned autonomous driving features, enhancing its ability to navigate complex traffic scenarios. Design and interior space. Rivian R2 embodies the essence of a mid-sized SUV, offering two rows of seats for comfort and utility in both urban and suburban settings. Designed with a modern and sporty aesthetic, it combines practical features with spacious interiors to deliver a luxurious driving experience. With seating for five passengers and dimensions, including a length of 185.6 inches, a width of 75 inches, 84.4 inches with mirrors, and a height of 66.9 inches, the R2 offers ample space for occupants. Additionally, with a maximum ground clearance of 9.8 inches and approach and departure angles of 25 degree and 27 degree respectively, it ensures versatility for off-road adventures. The steering wheel controls primarily consist of two large scroll wheels, reminiscent of those used in previous Tesla models. Rivian R2 bears a striking resemblance to its predecessor, the Rivian R1S. Like its flagship SUV counterpart, it features a spacious rear cargo area capable of accommodating luggage and equipment. 
At the rear, the R2 incorporates outdoor-oriented features such as a quarter-drop tailgate window and a drop-down rear glass window, facilitating easy loading of cargo into the electric crossover. Rivian's CEO notes that despite its compact size compared to the R1S, the R2 is designed to provide a spacious interior ambiance, creating an inviting atmosphere for occupants. Furthermore, like its predecessors, the R2 is designed as a vehicle for outdoor use, with both the second and front rows capable of folding flat to optimize car camping experiences, price and configuration options. Projected to start at $47,500, Rivian R2 offers a range of up to 330 miles and utilizes a Tesla-style North American charging standard, NACS plug. Manufactured at the company's new factory in Georgia, it enables buyers to avail of EV tax incentives of up to $7,500. Scheduled for launch in 2026, its long-term goal is to establish Rivian's dominance in the electric vehicle market, offering a compelling blend of performance, versatility, and affordability. 2. How can Model Y Juniper beat Rivian R2? With the unveiling of Tesla's Model Y Juniper on the horizon, the automotive world braces for a clash of titans as it goes head-to-head -head against Rivian's R2. Performance and handling Model Y Juniper is poised to set new benchmarks with its estimated battery range exceeding 300 miles on a single charge, rivaling the anticipated range of Rivian's R2. With an expected top speed ranging between 120 to 140 miles per hour and an acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in approximately 3.5 seconds, the Juniper is anticipated to deliver formidable power, potentially surpassing the performance capabilities of the R2 without the need for a third motor. While not emphasizing off-road prowess, the Juniper is expected to offer a ground clearance of around 6.2 inches, 157 millimeters, providing adequate capability for light off-road excursions. Technology and autonomous features. Equipped with a level 2 or 2.5 autonomous driving system, the Juniper is anticipated to feature lane-keeping assistance and lane detection capabilities. At level 2, the system is capable of lane detection and keeping the vehicle within the lane automatically. However, the driver still needs to keep their hands on the steering wheel and be ready to intervene in the driving process when necessary. Meanwhile, at level 2.5, the system not only detects and maintains the vehicle within the lane, but also responds to some more complex traffic situations. However, similar to level 2, the driver still needs to intervene when necessary. Furthermore, integration with Tesla's advanced entertainment system featuring a large touchscreen interface and intelligent functionalities is expected to elevate the driving experience to new heights. Design and interior space model. Why Juniper boasts a sleek and athletic exterior design reminiscent of other Tesla SUV models. With dimensions tailored for a mid-size SUV, it strikes a balance between agility and functionality. The interior space is projected to accommodate five to seven passengers, depending on configuration and options. Its overall dimensions are slightly larger than the R2, with a length exceeding by 1.5 inches, yet narrower by six inches with mirrors. Moreover, it stands shorter by 2.9 inches compared to the R2. Maximum ground clearance reaches 6.8 inches, albeit under the condition of having only two passengers. Pricing and configuration options. Model Y Juniper is anticipated to have a starting price of 44,000 TARS, excluding tax incentives. However, with various configuration options available, the price range is expected to fall between $40,000 to $50,000, depending on selected features and specifications. Configuration options may include different battery sizes and additional features while maintaining a competitive base price within the projected range. 3. Should you wait for the Rivian R2 or hold out for the Model Y Juniper? Both electric crossovers offer distinct advantages, catering to different types of buyers. Rivian's R2 boasts rugged aesthetics and robustness, appealing to those seeking adventure and off-road capabilities. On the other hand, Tesla's Model Y Juniper features a sleek design tailored for urban environments, prioritizing comfort 
and versatility for everyday use. In terms of performance, the Rivian R2 excels with its larger battery capacity and quicker acceleration, making it suitable for long-distance trips and challenging terrains. Meanwhile, the Model Y Juniper provides ample range and efficient performance, ideal for daily commuting and family outings. While the Rivian R2 may come with a higher starting price, it could qualify for larger EV tax incentives, whereas the Model Y Juniper offers a lower entry price but lacks significant tax benefits. Ultimately, the choice between the Rivian R2 and Model Y Juniper depends on your preferences, lifestyle and priorities. Whether you prioritise adventure, urban commuting or affordability, both electric crossovers offer compelling options in the ever-expanding EV market. With the Rivian R2 expected to hit the market in 2026 and the Model Y Juniper slated for release in 2025, the two crossovers appear to target different demographics despite sharing similar specifications on paper. Which one will be your choice? Share your thought in the comment down below to keep the conversation going. Goodbye and see you next time.